This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, PDF Pen for iPhone, PDF Pen for iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander, Text Expander Touch, and Disk Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Welcome to the Mac Jury on Mac Voices. This is the Talk of the Mac community. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this time we have one of my favorite, well, my, one of my favorite sets of shows, the first of uh, our holiday gift panels. These are always fun because they've always turned into sort of a game show where the contestants, i.e. the panelists, want to get in as soon as they can because they, they have their favorite picks and they want to make sure that they're the one to pick it. I'm not sure what difference it makes, but we just we just go with it. We're going to do a number of these throughout the holiday season, try to get at least a couple of them in before the big uh, U.S. Black Friday shopping event, and uh, and then maybe one or two more between then and the uh, the new year. Let's go around the, the room first, though, and find out who the panelists are for this very first Mac Jury gift panel. Uh, working from left to right on my screen, Gene McDonald uh, of App Camp for Girls. Gene, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Hey, thanks for having me, Chuck. I'm excited to be here. I'm pretty sure this is my third year in a row being on the holiday gift back jury, and uh, I did not want to miss it for uh, the world. So I'm here. Um, uh, people might know me as the founder of App Camp for Girls, and that's what primarily focused on these days. And um, I also do a curated link list um, email that's called Well Tempered, and um, that's also taking some of my time these days as well. And well tempered, Gene. I want to make sure we get a plug in for that because it's it's not a lot of links, it's not a lot of content, but it's very high quality content that you are curating and picking yourself. Where do people go to find out more about that and sign up? Um, the site is welltempered.net, um, and uh, there's a sign up for the email right there um, on the homepage. So. And then an archive of all the past emails, so you can see. But yeah, I realize I think of it now as it's like if if I could personally have Twitter with the out 140 character limit for me only, <laughs> this is what it would be like. It's all order. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's it's very cool, and you've shared some really interesting wisdom uh, from the the campers uh, as well as a lot of other things. So, folks, definitely go check that out. Uh, if, yes. if if at the very least, check the archives and see if it's for you, and if it is, sign up. So, good. Next up, uh, from, well, God, I don't even know where. She's from all over the place, Kelly Gumont. <laughs> Kelly, how are you? I'm well, Chuck. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm always really excited. This is my second year, and I'm really excited that uh, you invited me back. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't credit you for anything because you're all over the place. So I'll let, <laughs> I'll let you kind of tell, tell folks what your primary or – where you hail from. Okay. Um, you may remember me from the unofficial Apple weblog. I now write for the Mac Observer. I occasionally appear on the Daily Observation podcast over there. I'm also on the British Tech Network. Occasionally, they have a couple of shows, the Mac Show and the Big Show, uh, which I do. And I also have a podcast with Mike Rose called The After Show. On, on the Observa Daily Observations podcast, I can't remember, are mm -hmm. you the wizard or the guru? <laughs> um, I'm the wizard You're because the wizard. then I get to say to John, how do you guru, which rhymes and sounds really fun to say. Do, do you sleep occasionally, Kelly? <laughs> um, here's the thing is I'm actually officially still in the market for a full-time job. I don't oh, have wow. one aside from all of the other side stuff. So I need to figure out how I can fit that. Well, I need to find one, uh, to fit in there and then, uh, everything else will have to work around it. So yeah. That's good. Well, until that happens, we, we love everything you do. Thanks. So. Last but absolutely not least, you just heard his voice, uh, Wally Chawinski, uh, the, the, the wizard himself uh, behind the Macworld All-Star Band videos. Wally, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here, too. My pleasure, Chuck. My pleasure, indeed. Um, I, I guess I'm out of work now, though, with uh, Macworld <laughs> winding down and being on hiatus and... Maybe the Macworld All-Star Band is not going to perform this year. I'm devastated. I tried to get him to come out for my birthday, but Ooh. it didn't happen. So. Well, keep, keep me posted. I don't know what we're all going to do in March because 
part of the fun of uh, going to Macworld in San Francisco is meeting with all of you folks and all the other good friends we have. So we're going to be at maybe loose ends this year. So we'll see. Yeah, Gene, I'm thinking App Camp fundraiser. Ooh. We Ooh. should have them come sure. and do that. Oh, yeah, we have to get people to um, to pay to come. And that will be uh, that will be interesting. That's true. We could just hit up all their old sponsors that have already put up aside the money for 2015 and, and say sponsor we have, them. We have collections of shirts with all the sponsors on them. We might as well just That's start right. making calls. <laughs> <laughs> My other 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 thing that I do is I volunteer at uh, App Camp for Girls with Jean. So. So I, you heard it here first, first, folks. This is where it started, right here. <laughs> <laughs> so beyond that project, let's, uh, let's talk about some holiday gift picks uh, because that's what we're here for. And, and so there are very few ground rules here, especially for the first uh, panel, simply because there are no other picks yet. So I guess the only, the, the only rule here is that you can't step on each other. And these are things that you either want to give or get or would recommend to, to folks to buy. And how about if we just stick with the same order? Uh, so, Jean, you're up first. Okay. Well, I I have a tradition in the gift uh, Mac jury. I realized the last two years I've always started out with something that was super ambitious and expensive, and uh, but would be something fun um, if you can afford it to give to the Mac or iPhone uh, enthusiast in your life and. Uh, I've recommended a cruise. I've recommended Big Nerd Ranch in the past, and this year I'm going to recommend the CocoConf Yosemite Conference, um, which is coming up in April. Um, I can't imagine a, a, a more amazing lineup of speakers, plus the setting that it will be in, and plus all the Yosemite. So this is a conference that's taking place in Yosemite, the national park not just a conference about Yosemite, the operating system. So um, that, uh, um, I mean, pretty much it's a who's who of people, you know, we know and, and admire in the Mac and iPhone community. Um, and uh, that will be, um, like I said, happening in April. So the registration on that is $1,299, so $1,300. It's actually a pretty good value for what um, it's uh, what the conference offers, and then um, of course there'd be some travel expenses on top of that. But um, if you have somebody you really really love and you want to take them to Yosemite and they're Mac geek, this would be the thing to get them this year. Gene, I I've just learned about this not too long ago, and I'm not clear on exactly what it is. Is it more of a programming conference, or is it is it? A, you know, a, a brainstorming kind of conference. Where does this fall in the in the hierarchy? Well, it's going to be interesting because they haven't posted, you know, the exact schedule, but they have posted a list of speakers. And CocoConf generally is a really wonderful conference series um, that is, um, it is, you know, geared towards programmers normally and has some technical stuff with also some kind of business stuff and more general interest talks um, are are included in the mix. And it's everybody I know who's been to CocoConf has become a big fan of the conference and the organizers. Dave Klein is a real, um, just an amazing uh, creative thinker about putting a conference together. And he's done, I don't know how many of these uh, local CocoConf um, two-day um conferences. Now this one is longer and it's got, so given that some of the speakers are Andy and Natko and Jim Dalrymple, um, I don't see them getting up and, and, and doing a session on, you know, some uh, esoteric points of, of iOS 8 programming. So <laughs> I think there'll be, some, uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of general orient, you know, Mac oriented stuff in addition to probably some um, more technical, but it's not a, it doesn't look like a super technical lineup. Um, the, uh, one of the coolest things is they have um, James Duncan Davidson coming, and he is uh, the photographer for TED, you know, the, com uh, the speaker series uh, conferences. Uh, he's, a, he's a computer programmer himself, um, but he then, you know, became a photographer and he's going to lead a photo walk in 
um, Yosemite. So that's going to be, I'm sure, pretty cool if you're interested in photography. And then um, everybody's new favorite geek band is uh, James Dempsey and the Breakpoints. And uh, that's James Dempsey is a former Apple employee. He um, put out an album recently um, with his uh, just a, a, a lovely collection of nerd oriented songs um, and really programmer oriented songs. And uh, he's a lot of fun and he, um, it will be, and if you play an instrument, you should bring your instrument because uh, James is always looking for people to join in the break, break point jam. Now will, um, the, I, will the toxic Sheila's be there, Gene? <laughs> no, but I was a conditional break point once and I wouldn't mind going just to, to play with James and the gang again. So, um, yeah, so there's still, you know, music and photography, and I'm sure that it's going to be uh, a spectacular conference, on, you know, including um, not just the scenery, just not just the setting, but the people as well. All right. Interesting first pick. I really didn't see that one. That came right out of left field, but that's what you always do to us is right out of left yes. field. So. That's I like Jean. to get the – yes. Yeah. And, and well, we'll see. that. I don't know if that will be the most expensive one, but that's – that's also up there, so it's it's not for everybody, but for I those think she's people. got me beat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah really, <laughs> really. Kelly, you're uh, you're next. What's on your mind? A Tesla. No, um, <laughs> that's the only way I'm going to be, Jean. Um, I actually have some. Most of mine are super budget friendly picks. Um, because what I, what I like to do, like to me, the best definition of a gift is something that maybe you want, but you wouldn't buy yourself. And so then I can get it for you. And, and a lot of what I like to do is sort of upgrade what people have. So a lot of people I know have that little, um, rectangular set of screwdrivers. The back is the blue plastic and they're the little itty bitty screwdrivers, uh, that you use to fix your glasses and little stuff around the house. And there's an upgrade for that from iFixit, which is this super awesome screwdriver set. And here's the reason that it's really awesome is because it's got this push button on the front and it pops open and you've got all the bits down the one side and then you got your screwdriver. And then my favorite piece of this toolkit um, is these really long tweezers. So when, uh, for example, suppose you have to put a new hard drive in a TiVo, for example, um, <laughs> and you unscrew one of the screws and it falls down kind of into the circuit board, this is an excellent way to get that out without having to pick it up and tip it upside down, move everything around. You can just reach in and tweeze it out with these, which is um, fantastic. But that's, of course, completely hypothetical. No, actually, it's totally not. I did that, and that's what I needed the tweezers for, and it was amazing. Um, and part of the reason I was able to put the new hard drive in my TiVo was because I knew I totally had it covered by having this tool set. Um, there is a different version of this now that is available from iFixit that has uh, Torx bits. There's um, Phillips, bits, screw, um, Phillips bits, flathead bits a variety of Torx bits and some other ones that are sort of interesting looking that I have not had an opportunity to use. But um, it's got the nice ratchet handle that's super comfy. And uh, you can get this in some of the larger kits from iFixit. And you can also get uh, some of the smaller ones It just for even around the house stuff. Like I, I've grabbed this for so many things aside from trying to fix something that had a hard drive in it or had a USB port. Like I use these for stuff all the time. So this... Um, this runs, I think, $25 from iFixit, and it's also a component of some of the larger kits where you get, like, the suction cup for taking off the screen and things like that. But uh, just to have a decent screwdriver set with a variety of bits is super, super handy. So that's my first pick. I, as expected, Kelly, just 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 that much geeky, but perfect. <laughs> perfect. Wally, what do you got for us? Well, I, first of all, I want to make sure that you've spotted my Mele Kalikimaka shirt. Hawaiian, <laughs> Very Hawaiian nice. Christmas. Uh, mainly because when it's snowing and it's cold, I'm sure it's like that in Pennsylvania right now. I would really like to be in Honolulu right now, but I'm making the best for, for what I've got. Anyway, my, my pick, my first pick is uh, kind of conservative and it's kind of boring but really, it's one of the most useful and practical things you can get somebody. And that is a gift membership to one of the training sites. For example, if you just go to lynda.com, 
you can get someone a gift membership. And you know lynda.com, they've got hundreds and hundreds of video tutorials on pretty well everything you can think of, uh, Final Cut 10, the Adobe products, Photoshop, Lightroom, Elements. Uh, they just did a new series on Yosemite, uh, the Microsoft business software, lots of stuff. And you can get a mobile application for your iPad, and you can access the site, a site and uh, go through all the tutorials. So the cost of that, you can get a um, one-month membership for someone for 25 bucks. If you pay $37.50, you can get a premium membership, which means you can download a lot of the demo files and the actual tutorials. Um, and three months, $75. So not terribly expensive, but very, very useful some of the best training you'll find. Um, if you're into video and you want to learn a little bit more about Final Cut Pro, either uh, as a beginning level or in depth, really good place to go is rippletraining.com. Now I know Chuck, you're gonna have all the, the links to all of our picks and the sites uh, after the show. So I'll just mention the, uh, the site and you can go to Chuck's uh, show notes and see the actual links. But uh, Ripple Training, uh, there's a learning um, on Final Cut Pro, an introductory, and then in-depth. Typically, the course maybe lasts uh, four hours, uh, video tutorials. There's also specialized courses on things like sound editing, color correction, multicam, things like that. Uh, 30 to 50 bucks, depending on the course you buy. Another really good one for video, a uh, fellow called Izzy Hyman, who lives in Arizona, I think. He's at izzyvideo.com. That's all one word. Um, he has uh, similarly two and a half hours, I think. It's free online. If you pay a little bit more, you can download the tutorials, $37, I think. And he has advanced courses, too. Really good if you're into video. And finally, I have to mention... Screencasts Online, our friend Don McAllister. Now, I would guess there probably aren't too many people listening to this show who haven't heard of Don McAllister's Screencasts Online. But just in case there are one or two, let me remind you, uh, Don does a video tutorial, a screencast, two of them every week, one on iOS and one on Mac, uh, the Mac and OS X. And you basically subscribe and download them through iTunes, and you can watch them on your iPad, on your computer, or the way I like to do it myself is on the Apple TV. Um, you can subscribe or you can give a subscription to someone quarterly, $27, annually, $97. Uh, when you think about it, he does two tutorials a week. One is 35 minutes roughly for the OS X one. Um, the iOS one is typically around 20 minutes. So in a year, you get over 100 tutorials. And the cost, $97, it's about a dollar per tutorial. It's a heck of a deal. Um, you also, if you subscribe, get a free subscription to Don's Screencast Online monthly magazine, which, again, you download uh, from iTunes and you access it through the newsstand app um, on your iDevices. Uh, what happens in the magazine, it's an, an electronic magazine. Don takes his uh, tutorials from the previous month, rolls them all together, puts it into a package, and there are also some feature articles from people you know, uh, Katie Floyd, there's Allison Sheridan, and David Sparks, and me. I actually write a video column in the Screencast Online monthly magazine, and it's a lot of fun to write, and there's, some lot of, uh, there's a lot of good information in there. So any one of those sites will get you some great training. Wally, well, you just wiped out a bunch of my picks. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, Chuck. <laughs> because those are, those are all great sites, great training, great values. So good, good job. Good job. And a bonus to those is that if, if you have family members who call you from afar... Yes. and need assistance with things, this is a gift that you can send them that doesn't cost shipping, that you don't have to calculate shipping times for. So when it gets to be the 23rd and something shows up at your house and you forgot to buy that person something and you need to get it out the door in two days, this is an excellent option for that. 
it also helps people become a little more self-sufficient so they don't pick up the phone as quickly and say, hey, something's gone wrong. What should I do? <laughs> also good. Like happened to me twice tonight during dinner. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my first pick is something that I just got actually um, not too long ago and I've been playing with, and it is the new version of the Olo Clip um, for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Um, this is a little bit different design than the ones you might remember from the iPhone 5 and 5S. Um, it's, it's, it sits over the top of your iPhone instead of sliding onto the corner. It gives you four lenses, uh, depending on how you orient it. It's got a wide angle, it's got a fisheye, a 10x, and a 15x macro lens. Um, and I have a, couple, some, a few photos, I'm going to add more to the Mac Voices blog showing you just what it's like. But it really increases the versatility of an already great iPhone camera. There's nothing wrong with the iPhone camera, except that it doesn't have a lot of these cool features. And with this, the, the macros are unbelievable. The wide angle is is really very, very useful. And the fisheye is just kind of, kind of creative. I'm still sort of working out exactly how and, and where I would use that. But if you're into creativity, then that's probably something you would like. Um, it also comes with a little attachment that it, it snaps into. And this is the new way to carry these around is by a lanyard. Um, or a clip on your backpack or whatever. So it, it slides in there, it protects the lenses, um, so it can't be scratched. And of course, I have the covers on, the exterior covers on this one right now. Um, it's also a little bit harder to lose in my backpack and or in my pocket or wherever. The, the other lenses actually were almost too small. I loved them and they gave great results, but I kept misplacing them because they were so small. I, I, as strange as it sounds, I kind of like the larger size with this one just because now I can I can find it and, and use it very easily and it snaps on very quickly and very nicely. Um, one last thing about it, it does this because of, of the way this is designed, it not only works with your regular camera, it also works with the front facing camera. So if you want to take a fisheye selfie, you want to take a wide angle <laughs> selfie, don't think you're going to want the macro lens for the selfies. But uh, <laughs> But it, it's a really, really nice device. They're doing pre-orders right now, but uh, Patrick O'Neill told me that if you pre-order, you should have no trouble getting this in time for the holidays to do all of your holiday photo taking. So the new Olo clip, you'll love it. Now that's for the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. Is that right, Chuck? Correct, correct. The the, the other lens sets for the 5 and 5S are absolutely still available. Um, and of course, they've got lens sets for the iPads. And if you've made the mistake of buying any other smartphone, they, I think they have you covered there too. But uh, yeah, so gr great products, great company, um, really high quality stuff. Yeah. So that's round one. And that's a pretty diverse round one. And Wally, I beat you to a camera or a camera accessory. I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, I've got to do something about that. I Let's knew you would. <laughs> wait till the next time around. <laughs> Jean, uh, round two, kick us off. I just realized my round two pick. I didn't like bring it with me. I wanted to show it off, but okay. Um, uh, for my next pick, something that I have come to rely on this year um, is a new uh, iPhone mobile charger um i got from jackery is the company and uh i may i did have the one that i'm i think would make the perfect gift is um the smallest one they have it's about you know like this size it looks like a it literally looks like a lipstick um oh. it's that um small and it has when you charge it up it has enough power to charge your iphone um once and it can just be dropped into any little purse. It's really great. So, uh, and it comes in a bunch of different colors too. I got the gold ones specifically because, so I gave up quite a few of these as gifts this summer to people who helped us out with app camp for girls. Um, and, uh, I like them because they do look like, they look like a little accessory. You have one Kelly or you? Um, yeah, it's right here. It was one of my picks. Um, this uh -huh. is, this is actually That's the gray one. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is one from Costco, oh. um, but it's the same size. Um, and this is my iPhone five or my five yeah. S. And so you can see how big it is in comparison with my snazzy app camp case. Yes. Um, so it's not very big, <laughs> you know, when you get, when you get down to it, uh, totally yeah. fits in like every pocket of my purse. 
And uh, it's awesome. And actually, the reason I picked this one up is because just as we started, I realized that my orange Jackery one is in my purse, which is not in this room. So <laughs> I had to grab this one instead. Anyway, well, it, it does come in a really nice gold tone one. I think that's, you know, if you know people who like, you know, things to look that way or, if you know, it does come in black or gray. And and then they have this thing for bright orange. I'm not um, I. I, it's 19.95 on Amazon. Uh, it's been that like all year, and uh, it's super reliable. I really, really like it. Um, so, um, if you if you want to give something that's not quite so elegant but more practical, if you go the next size up, um, there's uh, a one that's about twice the the size, you know, from top to bottom, but still narrow, and that. Um, for twenty nine ninety five, that will charge up your iPhone three times, or charge help charge your iPad. Um, and I, I like that one a lot too. But I really like the little one because it goes everywhere. Um, but they're all really great, so I highly recommend that as a great. If you have somebody you know who's always like losing, you know, saying like, "Oh, I couldn't text you because my power ran out on my phone," then this is a gift for twenty bucks. Give them one of these. Yeah. yeah, and it's and it's so small that you can easily put fit it in a pocket or a purse or just keep one in the car or whatever you need. It's great. Yeah. My parents are going to get one, and um, it's basically going to live in my mom's purse. And that way, either my mom or my stepdad, if they need it, then it's available to them. Because I know she'll just drop it in the bottom of her purse and leave it there. And that's really all you have to do. It's really good about holding a charge. Um, it's really easy to recharge. It just takes a micro USB cable. Like, you know, those are everywhere. You practically get them in a Cracker Jack box anymore. But and you have to remind her great. it's not a lipstick. Okay. <laughs> Reminding her. Yeah. Well, there's black and gold and silver. And uh, I think, uh, and, and it's, it's a, a little bit taller than what my mom's lipstick usually is. So I think she'll be all right. So all these eye devices are great, but they turn into bricks if you don't have power. And so something like this, yeah, you can, mm -hmm. you can stick it in your pocket and almost forget it. And it'll give you that extra, you know, full charge or even if it's just, even if it's just an hour or two, that's more than enough to usually to get you somewhere where you, you can power up full, full force. Okay, so Kelly, it's it's almost sounded like you and Gene were doing a, a team pick there, but I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you uh, give us your second round pick. So I'm going to piggyback on Gene's because this would be super handy to have with a battery charger, and that is not just a cable, but a retractable cable. Mm -hmm. So this makes it so that it doesn't tangle up in your bag or in your backpack or whatever. It doesn't tangle up, and then also it doesn't have to be one of those ones that coils like you normally get with a car charger. And then, and this comes out pretty far. Um, this I think is a three foot, a three or four foot cable. This is from uh, Skosh. And the awesome thing about this cable in particular, and the reason that I picked it, you can, you can find retractable cables in all kinds of flavors. And you can also find really short ones too. Um, if, you know, if you want one to put in your bag with your battery charger, you only need like a six inch cable for that. So the cool thing about this particular uh, cable is that you can see it's got a lightning connector on the end. And then it also, it's going to be hard to do. There we go. Um, nice. You can pull it apart and this flips back. And now I have micro USB. Ooh, and so I'm carrying awesome. two cables in this for the price of one. And so, you know, I can use this to charge on my battery, on my, my Jackery battery pack, for example. Um, and then when I uh, need to recharge the battery pack, I can just pop this open and I can use it to charge it or, you know, everything else because a lot of my other stuff is micro USB. My Bluetooth headset is micro USB. The Bluetooth receiver in my car is micro USB. My Kindle, my Nexus 7, my other thing, my other thing, my other thing. Like all that <laughs> stuff that's not lightning is, is all micro USB. And so now with this one cable, I can charge virtually anything in my backpack at any point. So um, I find this super duper handy. And they come in 30 pin if you know people who are still kicking it old school with a 30 pin device. Um, and you can get just plain micro USB or just plain lightning, you know, if you're an all Apple house and, and don't need the other, the other piece, they do make another one that's, that's lightning only. And uh, the retractable cable is super duper handy. Very nice pick, Kelly. I didn't even know about the one that pop, the end pops off and you have a micro USB with it. That's very nice. Wow. I got hooked on those with the 30 pin. Changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see how. 
I can see how. Yeah, so, and my gear bag because I need one cable and I'm good. So is that another uh, Amazon product, Kelly? Or where is that um, from? That you said this that's Scosche? Yeah, this one specifically is Scosche. You can find it on Amazon. There's yeah. there's a number of people that sell retractable lightning cables or um, retractable micro USB, but um, I'm partial to Scosche right. because well, yeah. they've made a lot of stuff that I've um, used a whole lot and the build quality is great. And uh, anytime I've ever had a question or anything, they've been more than happy to help me out. So, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Very nice. How much is it? Um, this one I think is $20. Um, and they come, like I said, in a variety of, of uh, price points. This one is um, the, this is the Smart Strike Pro. And it's listed on their website at twenty nine ninety nine, but I think it's cheaper because I think I know I got mine for less. And then the Strike Line Pro, which is just Lightning, is listed on their site at twenty five. But I think they're twenty five and twenty, like on Amazon and stuff. I don't think they're dramatically more. Very, Very nice. useful. Definitely, definitely good pick. Wally, you get you get to beat me on the camera th this time. Well, I don't know if I want to beat you, Chuck, but I, I've got to get around to video sometime, don't I? I knew you would. <laughs> um, I, I did see your show on the Olo Clip, and it, it was really good. And um, Olo Clip is a uh, very nice accessory. In fact, they've been at uh, MacWorld the last couple of years, and very tempting stuff. But I, I'm going to uh, do the similar pick, and it's a camera lens kit for the iPhone, but it uh, goes about it in a slightly different way. I've got one here. See if I can get it. There we go. This is a an Izzy Slim lens kit, and this one obviously is for the iPhone 5S, but it, you can get it for a 5 or a 5S. It comes in black and white, black or white, and during November it's on sale on the IzzyGadgets.com site for sixty dollars, and and normally it's about a hundred dollars, so it's a pretty good deal. But just for the month of November. The way this works, if you notice here, there's the lens opening on the iPhone normally, and this case is part of the lens kit. And as I said, there's a black one and a white one. Now, to change lenses, all you do is rotate, and you hear a click, and you've got a new lens in place over your opening. Click again, and it clicks into place. You've got three lenses, actually four, because one of them screws off to give you that macro. But you have um, a fisheye, a wide angle, and this is unusual for a kit like this. You get a telephoto lens, which I find really useful because w when I take video, I don't use the fisheye that often. In fact, almost never. Uh, the macro, I don't really use for video, but I really appreciate the telephoto lens. So uh, a really good kit. Um, I like the fact that it comes with a case, and if you want to remove it, you just pull the end off and it comes right out of the case. So really easy. Um, it's, uh, you can buy accessories on the site. There's little lens covers, there's a carrying case, and there's even a little remote control. So it works really well, and uh, they've just announced you can pre-order a, a kit called the... Uh, Remix. It's a model that's especially for the iPhone 6. It comes in five different colors. It goes for more. It's $130. Um, now, once I mention this kind of thing, uh, a really good accessory that you can get to go along with something like this is a uh, an iPhone mount so you can mount your iPhone on a tripod. So if you want to do something like time-lapse photography or video or you just want to stabilize some shots where normally they might be a little shaky handheld, uh, an, uh, a tripod mount is a really good thing to get. And my favorite is this one. This one is from squarejellyfish.com, Square Jellyfish Company. The nice thing about it you can pull the jaws apart, and it can take pretty well any size of iPhone, including the iPhone 6 Plus. So let me put an iPhone in it. Okay, this one's the 4S. There we go. Um, if you want to uh, mount it vertically, that's, uh, that's very easy. You just rotate it, and now you've got a vertical mount. And if you want to keep it horizontal, you rotate it horizontally, and now you've got it there. So here's the screw thread that mounts to the um, tripod.
tripod and it's very secure and you're not going to lose your iPhone. The good thing is Square Jellyfish also makes a bigger one. So if you want to mount your iPad mini or heaven forbid some other device, uh, <laughs> It opens up wide enough to do that. It'll hold any iPad mini, with or without a case. Same thing, you can do a horizontal mount. And finally, same company also does a couple of interesting little mini tripods. They're kind of cute. This one has long legs, but it folds up really small. And this one is a teeny tiny one. And again, you can mount your uh, iPhone or iPad on top of it, set it down on the ground, and you have a nice stable platform. The, um, the jelly legs, uh, the long leg, long legged one, I think is $10. This one is about $8. This uh, iPhone mount is about $15, I think. And the iPad one is $18 or so on Amazon. Good products. Wally, next year you're not coming into the fourth or fifth of these gift panels because you keep <laughs> you keep wiping out things. All right, Kelly, what's <laughs> right? Right here's mine. Where's yours? Yeah, Chuck and I both. Um, yeah. So I had both the little one and the big one just to show um, that you can get it in two different sizes. Oh, it is a popular item. Yes. And the short legs and the long legs go. in yep. case you want those. The other nice thing about the legs is that they're good for holding away from you if you want to take a picture up high and you know use your headphones as the remote or whatever. You can um, hold it up and it makes a really nice way to sort of steady your phone a little bit. Yes. So, um, yeah, that was one of my picks. Yeah. So now I'm like looking around going, what else can I reach that might be cool? Yeah. The <laughs> other thing you can do is you can um, use the mounts with a Gorillapod and you can set it up on your desktop. And if you want to do a FaceTime call with somebody, for example, you can uh, twist it and orient it so your iPhone is looking right at you and it works really well. And, and Kelly, you brought up a great point. You know, you can you collapse the legs and hold it and it makes for a much more stable platform, not just for yes. photos, but for video, because yes. now you can pan very steadily yeah. instead of trying to, to hold the edges of that iPhone. And, you know, you tend to wobble there. This, you're going to do a nice solid pan, just like you had a camera in your hand. So And not cover up the microphone and not have to worry about, exactly. you know, if somebody bumps you, it's a little easier to absorb the shock that way. And exactly. so Chuck, yeah. do, you, do you have the iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus? I have the 6 Plus. Six plus. So you've you've got stabilization already, and you've got an exceptional camera. Amen. Amen. So this is this is just gravy. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Except that now I got to go in front of the other panels and figure out more gifts because you keep taking them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, Chuck. That, Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm going to uh, to revert to an old favorite, and I'm, I'm always surprised at how many people, when I say this, are shocked. How would you like to have 20% off everything in the App Store, Mac or iOS, for the next year? Who wouldn't? That sounds very interesting. Chuck, do tell us more. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Kelly, for the cue. It's, it's simple. Just wait. Watch the deal sites and wait. And over the holidays, I guarantee you that Apple gift cards, um, iTunes gift cards, excuse me, will be on sale for up to 20% off. You can find them at 10, you can find them at 15, just wait. They they will sooner or later, they will show up at 20% off. And you stock up on them. And it, you buy yourself a, a couple hundred dollars worth of these. And in effect, you've bought two, you know, 200 dollars plus 20%. And you just let it sit there because it's not like it expires or, or goes bad. And you know that you're going to spend it sooner or later on a Mac app or something else. And so think about it. Final Cut Pro, if you're into that, you, you're taking 20% off. Logic, 20% off. 20% off any app, large or small, that's where you're going to go and, and, and save the money. So don't be bashful at buying these things for yourself or for others. I, it's, a, it's a product that I guarantee you will be used, will be appreciated. Hey, if nothing else, just music at 20% off is a good deal. So iTunes gift cards, but you have to wait for the discounts to show up. Often from Best Buy, I think of 
a week or so ago, there was one from PayPal. Um, but sooner or later, somebody will do it. And it's funny. Once somebody does it, then every you know a bunch of a bunch of them do it. Then they back off a little bit, and they, then they do it again. So you'll be able to find them. Um, so just mm -hmm. bide your time, but uh, get them. And of course, at the very least, they're great stocking stuffers. So iTunes gift cards, but again, make sure you wait for the twenty percent off deals. Great, great point, Chuck. So Final Cut Pro, for example, that's sixty dollars off the regular price. Exactly. That's a heck of a bargain. Exactly. And it's almost easier when you have a gift card balance to go, oh, I'll go buy that app. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> that that might be the downside, Kelly. Uh, I was gonna say that's the downside. <laughs> well, yeah. it's yeah, it's like you a end mental up buying thing. Twenty like, percent more stuff that you don't actually need than you didn't do yourself <laughs> any favors, but. If but you're rich, you know, re really, you know, be, use your discipline with your purchases and don't just buy things because you're, you know, got 20 percent off. Then, then you're you know, okay. you, you you all have Black Friday coming at you even before the holidays, before Christmas. So mm -hmm. uh, is that a, a time when a lot of the gift cards will come down in price? Yeah, uh, sometimes. You know, yeah. Wally, I, I've I've never found a pattern to it. Um, it just yeah. it's like when somebody wants to do that that thing that will pull you into their store or really make you pay attention to their site. That's that's mm -hmm. one of the ways they'll do it. Right. It does happen throughout the year, but primarily, like it is one of the things I've seen leaked in somebody's ad for Black Friday, and I don't remember who it is, but um, yeah, in you know a week from this Friday. Um, You'll see, it, you know, there'll be all kinds of deals and stuff. And the other nice thing about these is, again, it's you can also do some of them. They're an online transaction. You don't have to actually go to a store and get a physical card. Right. For, sometimes, depending on who's doing the offer. So it's another one that is is sometimes a good instant gift. Yeah, yeah. And Gene, to your point, um, it, you, if you're going to buy those things anyway, if you have no discipline, at least you'll be between paying twenty percent less. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, uh, that's round two, and boy, that's a lot of good stuff. In fact, I think uh, I think Kelly's cost me a little money there. This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of the newest version of Text Expander for iPhone and iPad. Folks, I used to use Text Expander Touch with a number of applications on iOS 7 that had been specifically enhanced with Text Expander functionality, and it was quite useful. All of the snippets I'd created from my desktop were right there waiting for me. And then something changed. iOS 8 was released, bringing custom keyboards to the iPhone and iPad. And then came Text Expander 3 and its custom keyboard. And suddenly, everything changed. Text Expander worked just like it did on my Mac and just like it should. Anywhere a keyboard was available, the Text Expander 3 keyboard was available, and with it, snippets everywhere not just in specifically designated apps, but everywhere. Mail, messages, calendars, social media clients, everywhere. What I discovered was a whole new set of snippets that I needed to create because I use my iPhone and iPad in different ways. And there were lots of snippets that weren't useful on my Mac, but were massively useful in iOS. I can now construct text messages in a few seconds that would have normally taken a lot more seconds, maybe even minutes. And I can be clear on exactly what I want to say instead of having to revert to internet abbreviations or my own secret code that no one else understands. Emails can be answered in a much more complete fashion, and whatever signature I want to use is only a short snippet away. And that's just the beginning. Frequently accessed website URLs, date abbreviations, timestamps. The usefulness of Text Expander is limited only by your imagination and the recognition of things that you type over and over again. Getting Text Expander 3 for your iOS device opens up a whole new world of time saving. Get Text Expander 3 in the iOS App Store or visit smilesoftware.com to find out more about what it can do for you. And of course, don't forget Text Expander for your Mac, too. They both share the same snippet library synced through Dropbox so that what you create on your Mac is available in iOS and what you create in iOS can be used on your Mac. Text Expander from Smile my most used productivity utility. I love it, and you will too. Thanks to Smile for their support of Mac Voices. Jean, what do you have for round three? Um, my third pick is the uh, 
the Jambox wireless Bluetooth speaker from Jawbone. And again, I didn't think to bring all my toys right and sitting in front of me, but it's about like somebody probably has one. <laughs> there, Wally has one. There we go. That's the size of it. It's uh, it's pretty light. It's very durable, um, and uh, it's <laughs> uh, it comes in a lot of colors. I have black, um, and uh, you can basically, um, you know, so you can hook your. I I use it. I got the idea that I wanted something like that when I. The, it's doing more travel, and I wanted to have speakers with me for my iPhone, but nothing that was like too fiddly, um, packing wise, like, like another thing in my my gear case or whatever. Instead, I just throw the jam box in with my clothes, and uh, um, it it makes a lot of sound for one room. I think you know they actually make a bigger jam box. You know, I forget what it's called, but it's it, it's the bigger jam box. Um, sorry, Gina, I don't have one. They don't have one. I don't oh, either. Sorry. Because I've been okay with the small ones. Uh, the, I mean, they're, they're, they put out a lot of sound. I bring them to app camp, you know, to play like music when we're not, um, you know, having a, a talk or something like that. Um, right now um, on Amazon, it's like $91, which is pretty darn good. And I bought one of these also. Um, this year as a graduation gift for a high school senior. Um, it was the perfect graduation gift. Like, so for somebody, if you know, somebody has got a new small apartment or dorm room or something like this, like when I think about all the stereo equipment, I was schlepping back and forth to college to accomplish basically what this jam box does together with my iPhone. <laughs> I think, wow, we had no idea that, uh, those you know, how, how little things could become, but they're very groovy looking too. I mean, they, they definitely have like that, uh, Apple carries them in the Apple store. They have enough like cool factor for Apple to carry them. And, uh, I, I would recommend it, um, highly. I've, I've had mine for a couple of years and I really like it. The sound is really quite good, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's resonant, it's full, and it's it's excellent. excellent. It, it fills the room. And you, you could even take it outside if you want to sit outside in the backyard or something. And mm -hmm. the sound is just great. Listen to an audio book, for example. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, it has to be charged up, but it uses that micro USB thing. So, yes, with my, I have, you know, similar to Kelly, a, a interchangeable lightning and micro USB um, charger cable, and that's good for um, the Jackery chargers and the Jambox. Um, and um, you can even use it as a speakerphone, which is kind of, we've done it once with my family. Um, it was, we were all going to talk to my father, and we were tired of using like a telephone speakerphone that was, you know, kind of garbly and everything. So you could use it as, as a speakerphone, you know, just for yourself if you don't want to talk on right up on your phone next to your head or something or you want to sound important like you have a speakerphone and you put people on speakerphone while you talk to them well you can do that with the jam box too good pick gene good pick yeah Th those little portable speakers it's amazing how much sound they put out for uh, for the for the money and you know for say a hotel room i'm not sure you'd want to use it in in a hall of any kind but no it's not know. powerful enough for a really big room but yeah. it's definitely for a single room or so, it's um, it's good. Yeah. Kelly, round three, what'd you have? Okay, so I have um, something that I actually deeply enjoy um, because, and it's, it's partly because I'm one of those people who occasionally has to spend a significant amount of time on the phone. Actual, not with my thumbs, like actually making calls up against my head. And I love my phone, but this is just going to screw up my back until the end of time because it's so thin and they're thinner all the time. And I just, <laughs> I doing this because I, I can't know. do, I think, yeah, I can't I mean, do can one thing. Do yeah. I can't do one thing. So, um, I have to be doing something else, particularly like, you know, waiting on hold and stuff like that. So, um, I have an actual full on, it's from a company called Swiss voice. And it's a handset. And the reason that I love this one is because now they do come in a 30 pin version and a lightning version, but I just got the one with the headphone jack. Oh, yes. So that whatever I'm doing at the time, you know, if it ends up being 
Um, like the time that my dad called me because his computer had a virus and he couldn't figure out, you know, how to work everything. Like, um, you know, it was Skype, but I was still able to plug this into my iPad and, you know, holding this is slightly more comfortable. So, you know, it ends up looking like this. It's like an actual phone. It's got a little bit of thickness, so I can actually balance it on my shoulder if I really need to. And it's more comfortable to hold. It's got a little push button for uh, starting, for hanging up. Uh, you can start a call or end a call right here from this. Uh, the, the stand is basically just decorative. It's just a place to put the handset. They do make them... I've seen a variety of them without the base, but I like that this one has the little spot where you can just set it there. Um, they, you can also see them in a Bluetooth flavor um, from I know another uh, couple of companies make them that way. Um, but like I said, this one is just um, USB jack. And I think um, I've had mine for about three years and it's like 25 or $30, I think. On Amazon, I'll have an exact link. Um, for you, Chuck, to put in the notes. And I really like it as somebody who has to sometimes spend a bunch of time on the phone. It's really nice. And because it's hollow, uh, usually what I end up doing is sliding my phone right in here to just sit so that it's hooked in. You know, I've got it. I've got the cable on it and I'll just set it there. And it comes in really handy. Like if I have to wait for Comcast to get back to me about something, that's a really good way to make sure that I'm not uh, killing my shoulder completely. By trying to hold an iPhone up to it, so very good, very good. Wally, where are you going from here? <sighs> I don't know, Chuck. I, it's a sad day. I don't think I'll ever be invited back to be on your show again. <laughs> what are you taking stealing from your, me? Stealing your picks, I'm yeah. a bad person. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the Grinch who stole Christmas from Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. Uh, let's see if I can avoid uh, stepping on your toes this time. This one is just pure fun, just pure fun. Um, this is for someone who you probably know pretty well and you know the kind of things they like and you know their tastes. Um, and it's a one-stop shop. It's online. And all you have to do is go to thinkgeek.com. <laughs> Oh, Chuck, you were going to have that one, were you? No, no, no I wasn't. No, I wasn't. But I'm, I'm Kelly, just thinking. were you going to pick thinkgeek.com, Gene? No? Uh, no, fast. Oh. Just for myself. If you wow. really need to buy Kelly something, go to Think Geek and close your eyes and point. Okay. Here's the <laughs> kind of stuff you can get at thinkgeek.com. Uh, let's start with, well, you can get geek jewelry, for example. So if you want a nice pair of Star Trek earrings or a Star Trek communicator badge or a pendant with a DNA double helix, go to thinkgeek.com. Um, here's another really good one. If you would like a pair of pajamas that are Star Trek pajamas, they come, they look like a Star Trek uniform. So they come in red and blue and gold. So you can either be a captain, you can be the chief science officer, or you can be the engineer. And on top of that, you can get either the original series or the next generation model. So either one, they're only $40 for a great pair of Star Trek pajamas. Uh, Bathrobes, also Star Trek, uh, Doctor Who, um, Star Wars Jedi, for example, $40 to $60 for those. Uh, how would you like a sonic screwdriver just like the one that Doctor Who uses? Exactly. Kelly's already been there. Thank you. Um, and there are a whole lot of other things. It has a. It full makes range. noise. Sorry. I'm just you, it makes noise. It will. You can. Um, yes, but just don't aim it at me because I might. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. You'll be all right. I'm okay. Um, so lots of uh, toys, the kind of things you find in your local science center. They have a whole lot of things like that. Um, electronic gadgets. Here's one. A, uh, there is a spy pen. It looks like a fountain pen, if you remember what fountain pens used to look like. But it actually shoots 720p video, and it has four gigs of storage on board. So if you want to do some surreptitious video, you put it in your pocket, and you walk around, and I guess you can shoot stuff. I haven't tried it myself, but it's $40. Uh, and maybe my favorite it's a travel coffee mug that looks like a, an actual um, 
lens for a DSLR camera, like a, a, a long lens. So you look at it and you say, well, that's a lens, but really it is a coffee cup with a lid and you just pour your coffee in or your drink in and away you go. Um, that's only 10 bucks. It's a great gift. I'd like one of those myself. Hint, hint, anybody who's out there. Um, all you have to do is go to that site and browse. I guarantee you're going to find fantastic stuff that you will want yourself, and you will probably find things to suit anybody's taste. That's the uh, best thing about ThinkGeek. They're really equal opportunity. If you know somebody are. and their jam is Game of Thrones, awesome. If you they know somebody... That. Yep. female who like who maybe would be into one of those charm bracelets but isn't into the charms from like the other stores they have charms that are like a tardis and a computer and dna and like cool ones and they have can you tell i've been wish listing for myself lately um <laughs> they have all kinds of doctor who things they have bathroom stuff so like if you are cohabitating with somebody who is super nerdy, maybe you would enjoy the um, the transporter room shower curtain from Star Trek that comes with the bath mat that has the little pads on it. So, you know, like, yeah, super awesome. Kelly, you, you have that bookmarked in your browser, I think, don't you? I don't have to. I just have to hit T and it That's auto completes in the yeah. URL yeah. field. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'll do one other really quick one. Uh, these are stock, stocking stuffers, and they're pretty casual things. Maybe you're going to an office uh, holiday party or something, and you want something really small and innocuous and doesn't have to be really big and grandiose. But go to your local dollar store and go to the high-tech section. It's not really high-tech, but you will find some strange things at the dollar store. But here's the thing. Use your imagination when you go to the dollar store, and I'll give you a couple of examples. For example, this is a cigarette case. Now, I don't think people have a lot of use for cigarette cases these days, and maybe that's why they're so cheap, but this was like a dollar. But the good thing is, if you open it up, you can put your flash drives in it when you're traveling, or... I store all of my extra, extra SD cards for my video cameras and my camera. So I use a lot of them when I travel, and it's a great place to put them because they don't get lost and they, and they don't fly through your suitcase. Um, something like the extra batteries that you have to carry, the small flat ones. Again, these little cigarette cases for a dollar, fantastic. Or something as simple as... These neoprene, this is a camera case for a small portable uh, point-and-shoot camera. And this is a glasses case, also neoprene. But I'm not going to put a camera in here, and I'm not going to put my glasses in this one. But all of those cables you have to carry, if you don't have that small retractable one that Kelly does, where do you put those? Well, you put them in your little camera case or your glasses case, and all the small things that tend to get lost in your luggage, find a little case for it for a dollar or two. They're great things to buy, either for yourself or someone. If you explain what they're for, you don't say, this is for your camera, but you tell them it's for your odds and ends. And in case, uh, and in fact, you can probably, if you buy the cigarette case, you can buy an extra SD card for them and show them what it's for. But just use your imagination, and there's a lot of neat stuff in your dollar store. Very nice. There are some great ideas there, Wally. Some really great ideas. I never thought of the dollar store as, as a place I would go for resources, but that's not bad. That's not I have bad. a cookbook stand from the dollar store that I use in the kitchen to keep my iPad up off the counter in case I spill stuff. Yeah. Good idea. And that way I can still watch Netflix or um, look at a recipe or whatever. There you go. That's fine. Yeah. That was two bucks, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So my third round pick. Um, I just I did a Mac Voices uh, briefing on this a little while ago. This is the Swimmer. Oh, yeah. Bluetooth speaker from Boom. Um, Gene, you're, it, it's, a, it's probably a notch down from your um, 
uh, your jam box uh, as far as sound. But the great thing about this, there are a couple great things. First of all, it's waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof. So you can drop this in water if you want to. Um, but it's it's not, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's not quite big enough sound to maybe take outdoors with you to the pool. But it's perfect for the shower. And this is where I love this because I can, it's Bluetooth. So my iPhone can be out in the bedroom on a charging stand while I'm in the shower with this. Um, the sound is, is more than enough. I mean, you, you really don't need half of the power that this thing can give between your, your phone and this. But the best part is this little appendage that is completely bendable. So you can hook it anywhere you want. It, it can loop through itself if you want to attach it like that. Um, it is oh. just, it, it's, a, it's a delight. Um, it, I've, I've gotten three, about three weeks uh, worth of showers out of it with one, one charge. Um, <laughs> so, you know, That's it's, great. you know, it, it goes into standby other than that. It just hangs on the shower wall. And of course it's firing down into the shower. And, and I'm sorry, but there are plenty of water resistant speakers out there. There are plenty of things that you can put in the bathroom that, you know, will resist the, the steam that inevitably comes with the shower. But they're always out away from the shower, not in there with you, so you can't hear anything. This you can you can get well over the hiss of the of the shower and um, and listen to it. And and of course that means Spotify, that means iTunes Radio, that means your music collection, that means Pandora, that means iHeartRadio. Anything that you can play through your iPhone will come through this. So your custom karaoke playlist. Your custom karaoke yes. yeah. if you if, if you want to <laughs> sing in the all, shower, yeah. Okay. All the karaoke practice goes on in the yeah. shower. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's about seventy bucks. Um, it comes in a number of colors. Uh, it is it's rubberized if, in case you can't tell so that there's no vibration to it uh, it just is an absolute delight I use it every single day and it's absolutely the best solution I've found for a shower speaker or radio uh, yet and I've, I've tried things at two and three times the price and they don't even come close to comparing it's the swimmer by boom nice so I totally want one of those. Yeah, you Me too. Go, go for it. You will. Yeah. You, will, you will not be unhappy. I promise you. You will not be unhappy. My current speaker is just one that's resistant, and I just leave it on the top of the track for the shower door, and it just sits up oh. there. But yeah, that that's way better. Yeah. <laughs> well, it and the thing is, this this little hook. I mean, I don't know who came up with this, but it's brilliant because that means that. And of course, you know, if I sit it on the if I just sit it on the desk, you know, it can use to prop it, maneuver it any way you want. But I just, I love the hanging part. So, so that's, that's my round three pick. So great. Um, guys, we're running at about an hour. Do we, can we do a round four really quick? Everybody up for a round four really quick? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Gene, round four. Okay. Light, light, lightning <laughs> round. <laughs> Yeah, I had noticed that some of my less expensive picks have already been picked by Kelly. So <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, but I. So the one that I still have in uh, on my list, and I w I think is a super neat gadget, and it's not something that is m very obvious as a a thing you would get as a gift. But there's the Fujitsu Scan Snap portable scanner, which is. Um, the S1100, uh, and it's about the size of a, like a, a ruler, and it's a little bit fatter, you know, than, I mean, it's only like an inch high. I'm waiting for Kelly to whip one out, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't have one of these. <laughs> no, it's just um, over there. So uh -huh. I would have to take my headphones out and then dash yeah. over and grab it. But I, there is yeah. one. It's right over there, I promise. But, but I'm right about the size of it. It's about 12 inches yeah. by like one inch. And it's very light, and it's it's pretty sturdy. Um, and we use them at app camp for girls, um, because the girls, all the artwork that the girls do for the apps that they make, they do them, they hand draw them. So they don't, we don't get too involved in like image editing or graphic design apps. We just let them go to town drawing their interfaces. And then we have to scan them to, to get them into the apps. And it just, it does one sheet at a time. It grabs the edge of this sheet. It basically, and it's USB powered, so it just has the one cable. You just plug it in um, to your Mac and um, start to feed a sheet of paper, and it kind of grabs it. You press the button, and it scans it, like, all in, you know, the space of, like, 15 seconds. And it 
was super easy and the girls could do it. And uh, what I'm thinking of, like why this might um, be a pretty cool gift for people who have kids, you know, who are not scanning their kids artwork, you know, yes. this is, yes. this is like, we know there's these awesome, more powerful scanners that do all these other things, you know, but if you're, you, you don't have any scanner at all, you know, or you only have a flatbed scanner, which is, is just, you know, tedious. Um, think about getting the scan snap because you could, um, you could scan art so quickly and easily and, you know, not lose kids, you know, attention. So say you wanted to take something that was hand drawn and put it into some program that the kids could play with it, you know? So I think the scan snap, it's $200 around. Um, there's a range of prices, uh, that scan snap, um, S 1100 is just a super neat, um, piece of, of, um, tech that, uh, if you know somebody who doesn't have a scanner and you have, think they could use one, this is a great one. It's also great as a document scanner because the requirements for a document are not necessarily the same as what they are if you're trying to do something with artwork. So, um, you know, like I am, it will take all so, or all sorts of paper. So like we cut stuff out in all kinds of crazy shapes because somebody will draw near the edge of their notebook and we'll cut around it and it'll be this sort of roundy with one 90 degree corner scan snap. <laughs> goes full honey badger. It does not care. Whatever <laughs> shape you feed it, whatever size you feed it, it doesn't matter. Scan yeah. snap, totally happy with it. So like I've fed it um, receipts, like to do digital um, copies of receipts for expense reports and archives and all kinds of things. Um, you can feed it all that kind of stuff. And it's really great. So if you also, also if you know someone who maybe is uh, looking to go digital with some of the filing, um, this is a really good way to get started with that, too. That's an, an excellent application for it, Gene. The kids' art. I, I wouldn't have thought of that, but that's that's really creative. Yeah. yeah. Good pick, Gene. App Camp good approved. Good. Good. Camp App approved. Camp approved. <laughs> yes. It and the jam box. Camp protested. Uh, <laughs> camp protested. Kelly, lightning round. What do you got for us on round four? Okay, so um, this time I'm sort of uh, like Wally's Think Geek pick. I'm sort of recommending a brand, and that brand is 12 South. Um, 12 South makes a bunch of beautiful things. Um, I'm going to take you for a little trip here. Uh, they make the hover bar, which is right here, with my lovely little Hawaiian decor on it. Wally's probably enjoying that because it matches his shirt. Aloha. Um, and then... Uh, they also make all kinds of other stuff. They have a really amazing, they just came out with the new high rise dock. And the great thing about the high rise dock, the thing about 12 South that I really like is that they're, a lot of their design is very thoughtful. So one of the things that they did with the high rise, which is a, a docking stand for your uh, iPad or iPhone, is that you can run whatever cable you want through it and you can buy it with or without a cable. So if you know somebody who maybe, you know, now you can take that cable that sits on your desk and throw it in your bag so you always have a cable in your bag, you know, buy the one with the cable so that you can set it up for that person and have it all ready to go. Um, hands down, my favorite thing that 12 South makes comes in this beautiful little pouch, and it's called the compass. And the compass is beautiful yeah. because it comes out into this, bam, now it's an iPad stand, and then it's got these little feet that flip out. But the best bit is, again, really thoughtful. If you leave it like this, you can do, it sits pretty upright, it's a nice portrait, for for uh, an upright you know portrait or landscape for your iPad, but suppose you want to lay it down because you're going to type on it, but you don't want to lay it flat. Maybe you don't have a case that does it or something like that. So all you have to do is pop out this little tab in the back, and now you can lay it at a low angle yeah. instead, and you can you know set your iPad on it this way. It's still up off the table or the floor or whatever, and also there's rubber. All over the place. I don't know how well it shows up on my camera, but you can see the darker spots. That's all rubber so that you're not setting your iPad metal to metal on anything. Um, it's super amazing. It's unbelievably useful. And as you saw me unfold it from that tiny little pouch, it comes down to this. It's also um, made of super heavy aluminum. So the other nice thing about it is if maybe you need to wave somebody off, you know, you've got some good momentum behind it. It's heavy. Um, so <laughs> multi-purpose. It's so great. So um, that that's the thing that I love from them the most is this because it goes with me everywhere. It basically uh, lives in my backpack almost all the time um, unless I can take it out and use it on my desk uh, when I'm not using my hover bar, which is just over there. Love it. 
Kelly is advocating assault for Christmas. Um, <laughs> no, defense. Yeah. defense. No, defense. 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 Okay. Kelly defense. shot a second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not unprovoked. Not, not unprovoked. Okay. All right. Glad we cleared that up. Glad we cleared that up. Wally, what do you got for us for the last round? Well, you know, one thing I've learned uh, today is I could visit you, Chuck, or Gene, or Kelly, and I would probably find the same stuff that I have at home <laughs> in all of your homes. Yeah. So I feel right. Uh, I, I wouldn't feel uh, lost at all. Uh, my last thing. Let me see if I can flip over to uh, another screen, and I'll show you what it is if it works. Okay. Ooh. Um, this is uh, my favorite case for electronics. Now, when I travel, I take a lot of stuff with me. Uh, things like. Um, several video cameras, still cameras, point and shoot, cables, batteries, chargers, and, and on and on it goes. Um, and usually they turn into a mess in your suitcase and you can't find what you're looking for and, and they're all over the place. So I bought, last year I bought, well, two years ago I guess, I bought a case from Pelican. Uh, it's at uh, pelican.com. And these are the folks that make these indestructible cases for professionals. So when they have to transport uh, lighting kits and cameras and stuff like that that's really expensive, uh, it's well protected. Now, um, I'm trying to go doing this hover thing. So, so am I, uh, can you see what I'm hovering over? Yep, mm -hmm. looks good. Yeah. Okay, so this case, it's, it's not inexpensive, but the bottom part has uh, padded compartments uh, with dividers. So you can fit your lenses and cameras and all that stuff neatly into those compartments. And the top part of it, you can uh, put your laptop, you can put Gorillapods and other stuff as well. Now the really good thing about this, the good thing about it is First of all, it's indestructible. So if you have valuable equipment that you don't want to get damaged in transit, this will do it. But it, it's also engineered to fit perfectly into pretty well any overhead bin in an aircraft, even the small commuter jets. Now, uh, yeah, and when you try to take it on, usually the attendant at the gate will insist that it won't fit. And then the people just before you board the plane will insist that it won't fit and they want to take it away. I never let them do it. I always tell them it will fit. And it always has. Sometimes, mind you, I've had about like a millimeter to spare and I've had to push to get it in there, but it will fit. And it's comfortable, uh, comforting to know that all of your expensive gear is with you instead of down in the hold of the plane freezing and jiggling and everything else. Um, so it's really well made. It protects all your stuff. And maybe the best part of it is when I come back from a trip, I don't really unpack my gear. I just put it off uh, on the side and I keep my things in it. So whenever I have to use a camera, I'll go and get the camera, I'll use it, and then I'll put it back in the case. So I always have things reasonably neatly organized. I know where things are. And the next time it's time to travel, all I have to do is make sure everything is in there. I close the lid and I'm off. So a uh, really great thing. It's uh, from Pelican. You can find it on Amazon for less than $300. I mean, that's not cheap, but that thing will last you a lifetime. Um, and if you're interested in the Pelican stuff, they also make um, really hard-sided and very good protective cases for your iPhone uh, 5, 6, 6 Plus, your iPad Mini, and your iPad Air. Um, and these things are really industrial grade. They have um, uh, rubber gaskets around them. So uh, if you drop it, if you get a knock, it'll survive. Really good stuff. Yeah, Pelican has a great reputation for protecting yeah. your gear. So good pick, good pick. It looks it looks very uh, very organization driven. I really like that. Now you weren't going to pick that, Chuck. No, I've no, I don't have I don't have that. Oh, good, I don't have oh, that. No. Yeah, Put but that I, on. But I, I think <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm I'm a little bit in competition with Kelly, but not really because mine's not for the iPad. It's for the Mac itself. I'd love to show it to you, except that 
my MacBook Pro is on it right now, and mm -hmm. that's the Roost stand. Oh yes, um, that we a lot of us saw at MacWorld this last year. Uh oh, okay. I've, everybody's going running for theirs for some reason. Um, yeah. Ah, I, 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 I stand up. I love. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we, we've got multiple <laughs> examples here on camera um, of, of the roost. It's the roost race. But the roost is, it, it almost looks like a Tinker Toy set, and you would think nobody in their right mind would, would put anything on this. But mm -hmm. I have to tell you, it's, it is amazingly stable. It's completely strong. It holds your, your MacBook Pro um, by, the, by the screen in back, by the hinges, which, again, doesn't sound like the thing you'd want to do, but it absolutely is perfect. Uh, as you can tell, it elevates the camera a little bit. It raises your MacBook Pro screen to just about the right perfect height if you're going to put it maybe beside an iMac or a second monitor. Um, so there's so many good things about this. It folds up completely, goes into your backpack, hardly takes up any space. It's adjustable for MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs. Um, yeah, Kelly has one folded up, and well, so does Wally, I guess, or Wally has his unfolded. And again, there's my phone for we comparison. Came, we came prepared. Mine's unfolded and Kelly's is folded. What do you yeah. want? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Um, so it's I, I, I believe they're about eighty dollars, um, and it and I, again I'll obviously have a link in the show notes. But it's it's well worth it if you want a, a secure, unobtrusive stand that uh, that you can really feel comfortable putting your your laptop on, because it's it's one of those things that's a lot of money to be propping up on any kind of stand. And I've used a number of others that you know they they get a little top heavy. It feels like they're going to fall over. This no way, not even close, not even close. I have personally witnessed the the 17 inch macbook pro monster on one of these hanging out totally fine absolute like tested it totally solid yeah like it, it doesn't look like something that should be possible and it really is secure yeah it, it's a tribute to the the design of, uh, of it um and i i know i talked to him at macworld i'm sure you all did too there's it's back in the mac voices archive so if you're curious about it in, in more detail go check it out but uh, it, don't check it out. Just go buy it. it you, you will be very happy. Be very I, happy. I think the best testament to it is that we all held ours up. Like, look, it's right here. Yeah. I use it. You yeah. can see it here. Um, I found the trick was these little white plastic thingies. Mm -hmm. You have to insert them into the right place in your laptop. Mm -hmm. If you don't get it in the sweet spot, it feels a little wobbly. But once you get it in there, it is rock solid. So. Yeah, well, you, that's a good point. You you do need to practice just a little bit mounting it. Yep. Now I slide it in and, and it's no trouble. Um, but because you're trying to slide it into something you really can't see, you do need to practice a couple times. But once, like Wally said, once it's there, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. So. Good piece of kit. Guys, thank you. This was fun. We, we went a little over time, but uh, I think there are a lot of good suggestions here. And I know some of you have ca already cost me money, which is always a sign of some good picks. So, um, Gene McDonald, thank you so much for being here. Uh, hope to have you back soon. Yes, thanks so much. I'm glad we, we got together. I'm glad to do this with Kelly and Wally, and I'm glad we got to go first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, other Mac juries. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so much aggression coming out. That's yeah. not me. Gene, Gene is talking smack. This is not good. Whoa. I don't know. Uh, I think it's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, it's great to see you. Thanks so much. Uh, if 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 you have a job and want Kelly, here she is. Go get her. <laughs> yes. That came out wrong, but you know what I mean. Good to see you, Kelly. <laughs> Thanks. And you too. Thanks so much for having me on and having me on early. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it again. And Wally, of course, thank you so much. You you never disappoint. You always come with some really cool stuff. Chuck, it was really fun. And um, unfortunately, it's, I, I guess, the last time you're going to invite me back. But hey, <laughs> nonetheless, it was a lot of fun. Uh, by next year, I will have forgotten. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mele kaliki maka to everyone. <laughs> and and to, to everyone out there and to all of you. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is the first of our Mac Jury gift panels. So there will be more, I promise you. It, uh, it will cost you money, but you'll have a good time doing it. So check back often. Definitely check the show notes. I'll have links there for everything that, uh, that, the, that the panel has picked so you can go and make sure you get exactly the right thing. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, 
to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.